NFL brings us to South Florida at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. But today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one, as it'll be the LA Chargers taking on the Miami Dolphins. It's a rematch of one of the great NFL playoff games of all time. The Chargers and Dolphins underway from Miami. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Two at a throw right away. This one complete to Jalen Water. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. First carry for Raheem Mostert. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That felt like a trap, because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Looking to pass to him. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Say hello to Eric Kendricks. He gets the sack there. The pressure that time right up the middle, and he was able to wiggle in there pretty easily and get the sack. Yeah, sometimes you end up getting caught in a little bit of a breakdown about who to block up front, and that creates the gap there. And he took full advantage, got to the quarterback, and finished off the sack. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. A big play there as they get the conversion on 30-13. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Two are going to throw. Flush to his right. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the 8. It'll go as a sack and a loss of a yard, and it leads to a second and goal. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Two and now, third and goal. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. You can already start to hear this crowd. They're saying, go, go for it. Yeah, have we ever been at a game where you've heard the crowd go, field goal, field goal? No, no I have not. That's a good point. Yeah, they always want to go for it, and I think they've got the right idea right now. The way they've moved the ball in this drive, I wouldn't stop that momentum. Go get it. Try to wedge his way in there. No signal. I don't think he got there. He did it. They try the sneak, but not enough push. He doesn't get in. And on the opening drive of the ball game, the defense comes up with a goal line stand. Back to throw now in his own end zone. And this intercepted on the first play of the game. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six 
and the Dolphins touchdown. For a pick six on the first play of the drive, and Charles, we have our first points of the game, making it six to nothing. And while it's only six points in the first quarter, it certainly takes a lot of pressure off of them, doesn't it? They're in the lead, they have control. Now they just want to settle in and play their game and defend that advantage. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that makes it 7 0 Dolphins. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Charger drive about to get going. And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And partner, I think this is where long-term starters in the NFL separate themselves from the rest of the pack because there's still three full quarters left in this one. More than enough time to move past a pair of early mistakes and find a way to lead your team to a win. Mental resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. Now Achan on first and ten. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the gun, it's Tua. And that is incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. First catch there for Hill, and he's got a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. Flushed out right. And that is caught. Touchdown Miami. Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins go up by two touchdowns. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good, we're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him, he gets it done. Sanders on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. 
And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Charger drive about to get going. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. Exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. They'll throw on second down and stick. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Fair to say, it hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Stick back to pass. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now stick. He finds his target, Allen. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. It's Eckler again. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Stick looking to throw. Working the middle here, that's complete to Everett, the tight end. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Eckler is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Not liking the look, they'll change the play. On second down, it's Stick. They'll get this out wide to Eckler. Touchdown, Chargers! Austin Eckler from three yards out. And the Chargers are back within a score. Well, CD, you know he's got great options at wide receiver tight end, but there he looks to the backfield, and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. You made me forget about some of the ones that you should be covering. And they made them pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield, they're eligible too. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out ready to send it away. And they're going to be set up in excellent field position up past the 45. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10. A carry there for Mostert as he's able to work his way forward for a pretty good pickup on first down. Officially a gain of five. We've hit the two minute mark in the second quarter. 14 to seven. Second and five. Throwing now is Tugamailoa. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smith. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Out of the gun, here's a give to Achan. 
Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On second down, Tua. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Hochin. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 14. A nice pick up there, 10 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Here's a second and eight. At the 12-yard line. Come on, two. Watch it, Oscar. He's right, no. Now Tua. Tua hit, and the ball is out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Hey, we can preach ball security all we want here, but how about that effort on defense? Excellent job inside the red zone. Just took away at least three points by forcing that fumble. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. A one touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And just shedding him off there. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Charger drive about to get going. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Stick looks to throw. Steps away to his left. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. I did like his decision-making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. 
That's to his running back complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down. They go for it on fourth and two, and it's a gain of six. Up the middle with Eckler. He'll get this up to about the 44. I have to think a major focus of the halftime, Mings, had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 33. 23 yards to pick up there. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory. Down at the 33. A shotgun throw for Stick. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. And quickly they get to the line. Now they'll change things around before the snap. On second down, Eckler. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. Ninth play of the drive now, a third of the country mile. Stick from the gun. Throwing the out route, and he's got Eckler. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Running on first down, Eckler. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Second down and four. They're going to look to throw out to his left. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. I'm not quite sure what he thought he saw there, but the reality was certainly a much different picture than what he anticipated. And give credit to the defense. They were down on the flat when he broke out of there, and they forced him out with almost nothing to show for his efforts. Third down, they'll throw with Stick. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. 